What's going on, Infinite Fam? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, leave a positive comment down below for a chance to get a post notification shout out at the end of today's video. So guys, today's video is going to be hilarious. Your boy is basically going to be getting his girlfriend a job at McDonald's. But not really though. I just want to see what would be Janice's reaction if I were to go inside McDonald's, get some food, take a little longer than usual than it would take to get some food, come back in the car and be like, babe, I took so long because I was talking to the manager at McDonald's. I got you a job. You start tomorrow. She's probably going to flip and be like, why would you go ahead and get me a job? Why would you do that on like my behalf? And I'll just be like, babe, I feel like you just need to get out the house more. I feel like this is something that you can do. It's something productive. You'll get money doing it and so on and so forth. So Janice is actually right now getting our mail, which gives me enough time to do this intro. She knows we're supposed to be vlogging today. So I think I'm going to start off the vlog by telling her like, babe, I want to go grab something to eat. Let's stop at McDonald's real quick. And then that's when I'll go ahead and get that prank started. So if you guys are ready for today's video, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Comment Comment down below, Team Isaiah, all day, every day. Let's get into it. What's going on, Infinite Fam? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, leave a positive comment down below for a chance to get a what, babe? For a chance to win a shout out in the next video. That is right, guys. So today we have not too much to do. As you guys noticed in our last vlog, we were supposed to go pick up some packages from my mom's house. We never got to that point, so we're going to be doing that today. We have to go mail out a box for Janice's mom that we have in the trunk. But before doing all that, I kind of want to get something to eat. Okay, so where do you want to go to get food? Take a guess you're probably gonna be disgusted with me disgusted it's not the healthiest thing at all it's probably the opposite of healthy the, the complete most disgusting opposite. thing it's not disgusting it tastes great it's just the unhealthiest thing you could probably eat mcdonald's just, yes <laughs> mcdonald's i would want chick-fil-a but the last time i had a spicy chicken sandwich it didn't really settle well with me mcdonald's probably not gonna settle well with me either but i'm in the mood for some nuggets Wow, you're gonna eat nuggets? You're gonna yes. do that to yourself? Yes, I know. When's the last time I had nuggets? It's been a couple of months. Because every time you have nuggets, it doesn't it end well. Yeah, I know, and I'm really, really craving them today. I might get a McChicken. I don't know. We'll see what happens when I actually get McChicken there. McChicken slap. They do, with no mayonnaise, though. No, with extra mayonnaise. That's disgusting. See, now you just ruined a good sandwich. No, I didn't. All right, guys. We'll see you guys at McDonald's. So, we pulling up to Mickey D's. Aren't you so excited to be eating Mickey D's? I'm kind of scared, if I'm being honest with you, just because this never ends well for me. Well, honestly, I miss McDonald's. Oh, you're such a liar. You're missing the drive through babe. That's not that way. I'm not going through the drive through Why not? Because I need to park because I have to use the bathroom really bad. You can't wait? No, not at all. I have to pee really, really bad. Okay, well, uh, guys, I see the bathroom, so he's parking. I'm just gonna get my food while I'm in there. Really? Why it's not? It's gonna take in way there. longer like that. How is it gonna take longer? Because every time you go inside, I feel like it doesn't go faster than the drive through I feel like it depends because the drive through right now is long, so I don't think there's anyone inside. All right, fine. All right, well, I gotta go pee, bro. I can't he can be here and just discuss things. Okay, guys, he has the smallest freaking bladder. Ever. Like, he always has to pee, but anyway, I guess we'll catch you guys when he comes back out with his food. So it's been about 15 minutes or so, and Isaiah still hasn't came back out yet. And on top of that, I texted him and he didn't respond. I'm looking back and I really can't see anything inside because it's all tinted. So I really have no idea when he's coming out. But I'm going to give him another five minutes. If he doesn't come out soon, then I'm going to just go in and get him. But we'll see what happens. Guys, I was about to go inside and get Isaiah, but look at him. With the biggest smile on his face. I don't know if he's... There he is. Babe. The biggest freaking Babe. smile on his face on Babe. his way over here. I just got you the biggest hookup. What? You got me free slushies all the no, time? No, I didn't get nothing free. No. Free my listen, no, listen, listen. Damn. So I was in there for a long time, right? I can explain. So I went in there and I ordered my food before going to the bathroom. So by the time I get out the bathroom, my food would be done. Right? And then you decided you wanted to get ice cream and then the ice cream machine was broken. You had to wait till it's done. You think you know everything? No. All right? Oh, no. 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 no oh, no. okay. So, so let's if you would let me finish my story it's actually good news for you not okay. for me all right so this is what happened so you know i order the food i go to the bathroom real quick on the way out from the bathroom i bump into this guy he happened to be the manager at mcdonald's all okay. right now guys listen to this this is where it gets crazy right so we're talking or whatever he's like hi how you doing or whatever and then he was like oh you know i'm not trying to reach or anything here but he was like do you know anyone that might need a job here we're kind of short staffed and i was like i actually do and i gave him all your information and Ooh. everything like that and then they were like okay yeah she can start tomorrow if she really <laughs> wants the job i was like yeah she was i was like she'll start today but i was like we got a couple things to do today whatnot but you got a job at mcdonald's y'all hooked you up first of all how are you gonna give people 
my information without asking me. It's not anything crazy. It's just like our address, phone number. I gave him my phone. Address number. and phone number. I gave him my phone number because I know how you are about like the phone number thing and all that. But yeah, I gave him your like your name and stuff like that. And they said, like I said, you can start tomorrow if you really want to. And I was like, hell yeah. What you mean, hell yeah? You're like speaking for me. You said yeah. Babe, I got you a job. Okay, that's thank you for thinking about me, but I'm just like confused. What are you confused like, about? Why is that the first thing you thought of? Is just getting me a job? Because he asked me if I knew anyone, and I was like, you know what? I think you'd be the best fit for the job, so you can like just get out the house more. Get, it'll give you something to do and stuff like that. But how is it like that? Plus I was you're the first money. person you thought of, but babe, we don't need extra money. It's not necessarily for the money. I'd rather right. the we job don't... go to somebody who actually needs the money. Okay, and I get that, and that's so kind of you to say. But it's just something so you can like get out the house and stuff like that. It's Why just, was I the being first productive. person you thought of? Why didn't you think of your sister or something like that? Because my sister needs to focus on school. She don't need to worry about getting money. But you know, she'd be wanting to like you know work at fast food places. She could get free food. Okay, and but stuff. she don't got time for that. She need to focus on her school work. You, on the other hand, when we're done like doing whatever we got to do, we just like sit there and do nothing. So I was like, you know what? Let me just get her this job so she can just be productive and you can get paid while being productive. Like, I am productive. I'm saying when we're not doing anything, you might as well stay being productive. So I got you the job here at McDonald's. Yeah, but babe, like, they're not going to go based off of my schedule. What do you mean your schedule? Babe? Like, you... they're going to make a schedule for me. You know that, right? You can work the evenings. How do you know that? It's not mean? flexible. You can't choose and stuff I like that. I got the that. manager's number. I took his number down. I'll text him. I'll be like, yo, she can only work evenings only. Babe, I'm not doing Babe, this. Babe, the pay is good. Babe, it's not about the, the money. Good. It's not about that. It's just I really feel like this job should go to somebody who actually like deserves to get a job there. Okay, well they're not running into anyone that actually like, needs a job okay. or anything. So like we don't really like. Babe, need it's the not extra for cash. the it's not for the money. I'm telling you, this is solely so you can just get out the house more. It's something for you to do. I know you hate being locked in the house, so I got you the job so you can just stay busy, keep your mind going. Babe, I cannot be around McDonald's food. Like, do you know how tempting that is? I'm gonna want to eat McChicken and french fries every single day. Look at this. Look oh, that's that. actually what I got. I got to make chicken, no mayonnaise, large fries, and I got a medium. I asked for a Sprite, but I actually got Dr. Pepper instead. No drank, mayonnaise? No mayonnaise. That's disgusting. And I drank half of my soda in there while I was talking mayonnaise to the Mayonnaise is not disgusting. Do not come for mayonnaise because mayonnaise is the mayonnaise bomb. Mayonnaise is disgusting. So, I'll be asking for extra mayonnaise. No, no, no. Listen. So, I don't know what shift he wants you to work tomorrow because I told him. Babe, I, I'm sorry, but I'm not doing it. Babe, I got you the hookup. I'm I'm grateful for you doing that, but I'm sorry, I'm not I'm not taking that job. Why not? It's just too tempting. Like I'm like on uh, my first, you know, couple months. Discipline. Of eating. You don't don't just don't look at the food. No, it's like just smelling it, being around it, and if they give it to me for free, like um, best believe I'm gonna eat it. So Wait, I so just you mean can't. to tell me I gotta go back in there and tell the manager? Oh, never mind. Yes, nobody told you to offer me up for a job anyway. I was just trying to do something nice for you. And I appreciate it, but I'm, I'm sorry. Not I, don't want, I don't want to do it. I'm not going to tell him. You're going to have to go in and tell him yourself. I'm not telling him anything. You're, you're the not, one who... Um, no. I'm not going in there. He doesn't even know who I am. So you're yeah, going to yes, go in there. Yes, he does. I told him all about you. You're... No. We're I not I told him this. all about you, and, I, and I, I'm telling you, I vouched for you, and I said that you would be like employee of the month. I, I was like, guaranteed she'll be how? the best worker. I'm clumsy babe, as hell. Uh -uh. Babe, I vouched for you. Don't let me down here. Babe, At least just how give am it a I week. You down? Give it a week. Babe, I just don't want to. Give like, it a week. No. Try it out. Babe, I'm not doing it. I don't understand why you would go out of your way to tell someone that I would take a job without asking me first. I'm about to take it though. Then take it if that's what you want to do. Like if that's to. something that you want to do, then go ahead. But I feel like if that's the case, we should really find someone who needs a job seriously so that they can make money. We, that's just like I feel greedy at this point. Like how is it greedy? It's because not about the money. We're not doing it for the money. I'm telling you, this is just to, like get, to keep you busy. Babe, I'm sorry. This is just not happening. Like I'm not working for McDonald's. Do you know? Guys, how? I'm not tripping, right? Like if if someone got you a job, you would take it, right? I'm telling him that it's just like I love McDonald's, the smell of their food, and you don't want to go into a bad habit. Exactly, like I and I know that what it does to my body, and I'm just like, oh, I will get super, super sick if I keep eating it all the time. Even though I freaking love it, so I just can't be around it. It's just like, you know, you just don't surround yourself with stuff that tempts you. I'm not gonna tell him. I'm not gonna tell him. Here, Guys, hold my mix. Wrong? Like, am I wrong for have for telling him like he shouldn't have went and offered a job? 
Like, uh, why would you say she'll work for free? Da, 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 da. She'll work. I never said you'll work for free. Well, irregardless, you're just like offering me a job, like without asking me. You gave him like our address and everything. Now, what He's if he's a nice went... guy? Now, now let's think about this. What if he wasn't really a manager and he was scamming you? How was he scamming me? Why? Why would? How? <laughs> like he what, just what wanted he get to get your this? information and your phone number. Or is he gonna knock on the door and say, "Hi, I'm the fake manager at McDonald's." <laughs> I'm like, "All right, bro. All right, you lied to me. What'd you get out of this?" <laughs> No, but babe, I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not taking the job. It's just too hard for me. Don't be mad. Hold my McChicken, bro. No, hold I don't even want to hold, hold it. My McChicken. I'm going back home. I'm not gonna tell him. I'm gonna. I'm gonna call him later, and then you can tell him over the phone that you don't want the job. I'm not telling him anything. Seriously. I'm serious too. Guys, this is all his fault. Literally. How is it my fault? I'm literally just trying to. I hooked you up with a job just to keep you busy. I don't want to be kept busy. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. All right, so if I give you his number, are you going to call him? No. You Give him a text at least or something. So you got his number too? You guys exchanged numbers? What did you yes, do? Yes, I have. Buddies? I told you this in the car. I got his number. Yes. I don't understand why you guys like got into such a deep conversation. It wasn't a deep conversation. I was just getting you a job. That was it. So and he, he was just like, like randomly give people your number? Babe, he was like, here's my contact information. I didn't give him my number. He gave me his number. Okay. All right, so if I give you his number, can you at least text him and be like, hey, this is Janice. You no. know, thank you for the offer or whatever, but I can't accept the job. No, you're going to be the one to text him. I'm not going to text him. I'm not going to text him. This is on your name, not mine. What are you talking about? He don't know about? my name. He don't know my name. This is your name. Okay, but he didn't speak with me. He spoke with you, so. All right. Well, then, should I tell? Should I go and tell him that you know I'm just pranking you? I don't. I don't know. No. <laughs> You're so annoying. <laughs> then you really think I'd get you a job at McDonald's? Yes, that would be something that you would do. No, nah, I wouldn't do that. Yes, you would. I wouldn't do it. It's funny, but I wouldn't do that. No, no, no. So, guys, we stopped home because I actually have to use the bathroom for real this time. By the way, I didn't use the bathroom at McDonald's. So you're literally just holding your pee this whole time? Yeah, pretty That's not much. Healthy. I ordered the food and I was just sitting there like at one of the tables with the bag for like 10, 15 minutes just to like let time pass. People probably thought you were such a weirdo. I'm just sitting by myself. I'm not doing nothing. They're like, I'm just letting time pass just so you think that something's going on in there. But in reality, I was just sitting at one of the tables, just minding my business. Literally, the, the extent that you go to. So Absolutely, team. I say all day, every day, baby. No. So you really wouldn't work at McDonald's, yeah? I honestly like I I tried to work at McDonald's because they paid pretty good when I was in high school, but I didn't get a job. But thank God because I would have been breaking myself Unless and everything. Whoever worked at McDonald's, give your boy the hookup. All right, <laughs> I'll give you a shout out. Okay. <laughs> my cousin works at McDonald's and he actually loves it. He thinks that it's fun. So who my knows? sister used to work at Popeyes. That was the hookup. Right and there. Wendy's. That was and Wendy's, yo. That was the ultimate hookup. Seriously. All right, this, this is good. So I gotta good. pee. I gotta pee. I gotta pee, guys. That is the end of today's video. We still have to go do all that stuff, but the main purpose of the video was just to prank her ass, and that's exactly what we did today. All right. So, Tima there? No. Hater. So, with all that being said, guys, that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Comment down below, Team Isaiah, all day, every day. And with all that being said, it is now time for today's post notification shout out. Today's post notification shout out goes out to Jessica EB06. Shout out to you. Thank you for all the love and support. If you guys want a post notification shout out, all you guys gotta do is like, comment, share, and subscribe, and turn your post notification bells on so you're notified whenever we post a new video. And we'll see you guys in the next video.